Hello friends, let's start with the problems as well as the conversion procedure to get a DFA converted to right linear grammar now. So friends, if you observe the conversion procedure, it says if Q0 belongs to final state, then S is going to give me epsilon. For transitions of the form B on A goes to C, I'll be having the output as B arrow AC, where we see over here that AC is in the form of right linear grammar. Similarly, for this diagram where B on A goes to C and if C is the final state, the transition or the production rules will be of the form B gives AC or A. By now, you all might be realizing that it's more of twisting of the same thing, looking at the same thing in different angles. So using these rules, we are going to solve the problem. So let's do the problem and understand it's working. So the problem over here is to convert my right linear grammar to my... So the problem over here is to convert DFA to the right linear grammar. So the question given over here consists of the states Q0, Q1, I have Q3 and a Q2. Q0 is given as the start state. So we have two arrows over here. It goes on A, it come back on A, two edges over here. It goes on B, it again comes back on B, two edges over here, it goes on A and come back on A, similarly two edges over here, it goes on B and it comes back on B. So let's solve the problem. So now if we look at the rules, we see that first and foremost thing, the final state if Q0 belongs to the final state, then S is going to give me epsilon. So we have over here, the first thing is renaming the diagram. So instead of Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3, we are going to relabel it as S, A, B and C because it looks more of like productions there. So let's do it. This is my S. That's my A. This is my C and this is my B where we are deciding that C is going to be the final state. So we say to write the production rule P, the first one I see that S on receiving A goes to A. So I write S gives A A. Similarly, I also see that S on receiving a B is going to capital B. So we write S on small b goes to capital B. Moving to the next variable, A. A on small a goes to capital S. A on small b goes to capital C. But capital C is the final state. Therefore, write a small b over here as an additional alphabet. Going down, B on small a goes to C, we see over here. Similarly, since C is the final state, A will be added over here. Coming down, B on small b goes to S. Then coming to C, I see that C on receiving a A goes to B. So I say C gives A, B which is in the right linear form and C on receiving B goes to A. So what about the rule 1? So if you observe rule 1, the rule 1 says, if my Q0 belongs to final state, what do I mean by that? That is, if my start state is the final state, only in that case it will be deriving an epsilon. So if you observe our problem closely, my start state is only the start state over here. It is not the final state and therefore no epsilon transitions are involved over here. Now let's consider a problem wherein epsilon transition may be generated. 
So let's see if we can formulate a problem like that. So now over here, if you are interested in writing the production rules, we see over here that A in this diagram of problem 2 is the start state as well as the final state. So as per the rule 1, if the start state is the final state, my E is going to derive me an epsilon. Going ahead, I see that A on 0 goes to B, which is a final state. Therefore, it generates a 0 separately too. Then A on 1 goes to B. That's it. There are no more transitions on A. So we proceed to B b on 1 b on 1 goes to c and b on 0 goes to d then we have c on 0 goes to b and since b is the final state we write slash 0 over here going ahead c on 1 goes to d so let us write that and the last one we are going to write it for d d on 0 goes to d d on 1 goes to d since it is a cyclic transition it is going to have it like this and that comes the production rules for this particular dfa and this production rules are all in the right linear form so therefore now we can say therefore g is equal to vtps where you can write down my variables are nothing but a b c and d my terminals are nothing but 0 and 1 production rules as stated over here and my start state is nothing but my a and that is going to complete the problem. So this is the procedure to get a DFA converted to the right linear grammar. See you in the next session. Thank you.